Hello everyone again. I am very sorry for the amount of time it took to create this next section. Um, I was pretty busy with school and whatnot. But here we go. So, currently right now we have our enemy character <clears throat> just running around and stopping for that one second because that's what we put in our behavior tree. And if we shoot him, if I can aim of course, then he will just kind of stop because we set a boolean statement that if he's not hit to do that first part but if he is hit by an arrow to get the person who fired the arrow and then our next step is going to be to start running also to random location for convenience um, you could have him like run to the nearest wall or something like that um, and start shooting at the enemy character so that is what we're going to do today Okay, let's look in our behavior tree. Um, this was the first part over here, and I already created the second area for our conditional statement. Um, we're basically doing the same thing like this one, except we're setting is threat, which is our Boolean statement, to, or we're, we're setting it, so it's equal to true. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to create the next area for this. So under tasks, um, let's duplicate our previous task um, so that we can keep the the variable list. That's really the only reason. Let's name it as uh, look at player, move around, and then this is the previous stuff. We can keep this because this is just uh, casting the enemy to what it is. This stuff over here we don't need. And then we can leave the finish execute. Okay. So first thing that we need to do is let's drag in our instigator and make this uh, essentially get it from the blackboard event that we created. So get blackboard as object and then we need to cast this guy to controller and then we're going to connect these two uh, from here we need to get the the pawn of that or so the body of this controller which is considered the mind okay, controlled pawn and we're going to set the focus set focus now setting focus what that does is um, it turns the target towards whatever this character is um, so this will this will essentially be our aiming system for the XY direction and then we'll have to calculate for the Z direction uh, the target needs to be a uh, another controller so we're gonna put it into our enemy control and then just connect these next step is we we want to make it run to a random location so over here I get actor location uh, and just as before get radius Okay, random point radius. Let's bump this up to 300. Oh, that's 600. My bad. Uh, and then we're going to do a AI move to. This will be the destination. Let's plug this in. And then our pawn is going to be our character and then if it's successful plug it here and set the acceptance radius to like 30 or something like that so that it doesn't need to run to that exact point as long as it's within a, a radius of that area compile and let's see what we got 
So right now, our character is just moving around like he normally would. Yet if we shoot him, you'll see that he's now going to face us. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. Um, there's one more thing we need to do, which is kind of crucial. We need to go into the behavior tree and stick this into here. <laughs> it's kind of important. Um, underneath this. <clears throat> and also make sure that down here we need to um, set these to be the same value. Um, so the threat, which is boolean, is set to the boolean, so on and so forth. So set instigator to instigator. And now we should be able to see what we're doing. So he's gonna room, or he's gonna run around like normal. And when we shoot him, he's now going to look at us and move around, like how we told him to. And the reason why he's just running constantly is because we didn't set that wait time uh, like before. But we'll do that right now, actually.